Hello everybody, how are we today? I hope you're doing well. Uh, thanks for joining me, I'm Claire. Um, one stop shop for all things health, beauty and wellness. Um, please excuse this, excuse this massive ring around my neck. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing, I do realise. I had a mole taken off over a week ago now. I'm due to have the stitches out next week but I went to see the chemist today and I think it's infected so rubbish. Um, but anyway please look past it. I figure <laughs> I attract your attention to it and then tell you not to look at it. It's <laughs> not a good thing is it? Anyway that's not what we're talking about today. I'm gonna give myself a bit of a spritz because I'm hot. Oh, before we start, if you're perimenopausal or menopausal and you get hot sweats, this stuff, oh, it's been my saviour. And I'll pop a little bit of my new lippy on. And then let's get started on my empties for the month of September. September empties. So I've got it all, oh, I've had a bit of a rearrange. This is my box of trash. <laughs> so it might take a little while because I've absolutely collected just everything. I've got a bag here that I'm gonna put all my trash straight into for recycle, I got a box in the bag, recycling and trash. So let's start with this little tiny little tester pot. This was Natasha Denona Skin Glass. It was either a serum or it was a primer. I think it was a primer. I used it up, it was okay, it wasn't great. It didn't, um, make my makeup last any longer it provided like a surface shine that didn't penetrate into the skin it's a purely cosmetic product I, I didn't feel like it was doing anything beneath the skin but it was okay it was okay just because I work for my company who does all this stuff doesn't mean I don't accept testers and stuff I quite often compare our brand to other brands. So I, I will also buy other things. So this is a whole menagerie of different products, not just beauty, because I've also got some Nature's Way homeopathic medicine sleeping tablets, restful sleep support, which has melatonin, chamomile, passion for flower and valeria. I, I take three of these every night to try and help me sleep. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. To be honest, the uh, most beneficial, two most beneficial things that have helped me with my sleep are my CBD oil. We won't stay on that very long. That's empty. I get that prescribed from my sleep doctor. And we don't want to get demonetized. So CBD oil and acupuncture. I had acupuncture nearly two weeks ago now, and on the first night I got it, I slept eight hours. No, six hours, and then the following night I slept eight hours, so can't recommend that enough. Panadol for my achy hip and these business. I went through a whole age lock R2. I never know if it's R2 or R squared, but anyway. It's um, six capsules daily, three in the morning, three in the night. And it's about um, support cellular energy production to help you recharge and take control of a new day. So this keeps me um, focused to an extent. Um, the ADHD in me doesn't allow for a lot of focus, but it does keep me on the straight and narrow and a nice um, even distribution of energy throughout the day, not just in one big lump. So I really, really like that. Uh, I used up a moisture mist. I'm gonna reuse that one. 
I've got like four or five on the go, but I like to reuse the um, bottles just for water, for watering the plants. But I also put a little mix of our conditioner in there with water and I use it as a, a leave-in conditioner for the kids. Okay. Detangling and stuff. It's really good for detangling on its own. Uh, I used up an iron. Um, I'm severely anemic, so I, I, I got to keep taking an iron supplement. And a magnesium sleep well with carver. Um, oh God. And then sleeping tablets. <laughs> You can tell I've had a bit of a problem. I don't take all of them together. I, I should clarify with that. I used up a Nutriol Intensive Scalp and Haste Serum for thin, stressed and aging hair. Now, those of you who've known me a long time uh, will know that when I my hair was long, it was so thin and crazy. And uh, I don't think you'd call this hair thin, would you? It's huge. <laughs> um, so that is from using that product plus the shampoo and conditioner and my collagen. That's produced this big, thick, healthy hair. So I'm thrilled with that. Gwen and Joey have used up uh, Ava Puni Mooney. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. It's a shampoo and a uh, light conditioner. And there's a couple of things. Ugh, it's, it's pretty gross. It's got hair and it's been in the shower. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to say about this. It's really uh, smells oh, like a spa. Is there any left in there? No, there's none left in there. <laughs> uh, so it smells like a spa. Every time you use something from the Epoch range, uh, they donate money to uh, our charity called A Force for Good, which I'm really, really happy to be partnered with. Also, they've changed all of the packaging to be made, I think they said it was made from like brown sugar or, or something like that. So it just breaks down. So that the packaging now will be 100% compostable. Um, so it's not going to contribute to the destruction of the planet, which I love that. I used up our squid night. Um, and this is, you know, um, the our squid day, the day, these work together. So that stimulates your um, mitochondria, like your battery cells to work really, really, really well. And this, while you're sleeping, cleans out all the waste from the battery cells so that they can work to the best of their abilities. Love that. I notice <clears throat> when I don't use it, which is always a good sign for me. I used up uh, acetone-free nail polish remover wipes. I just prefer this because um, these little pre-soaked pads because my daughter also likes to wear nail polish and if we're tipping uh, nail polish remover from a bottle, there's chances there's gonna be spillage, which we do not want. And what did I use up then? I used up a Boost. This is the... Um, Oh, it's got a squirt in it. This is the um, serum that I use with my boost device. Just gives such a beautiful, supple, supple glow. I used up one of those. Oh, this was a freebie that was given to me and I did use it up. Um, this was the Biosense Squalene Omega Repair Cream. And I'll tell you how I use this up. I use this on my hands before bed and I put it on before my pillow mask so that, because the pillow mask will um, store it on your skin and continue to, it's got like a delivery system, which means that it delivers all night long. It's beautiful. So it's trapped it in there for like an intense moisture. It was okay. 
it's okay i wouldn't purchase again Ex well i didn't purchase it in the first place but when i looked up how expensive it was i thought that's not worth it i used up a novak instant spot and stain remover having my pets they and kids we get stains I also used up a triphasic white night cream, which has got diacel. Here we go. Dicetyl boldine targets the initial phase of the brightening process. I've bought more, so I must have enjoyed it. Uh, oh, <laughs> me and this. We're going to be friends forever. This makes me a better mum and a better human being. This is the cortisol, um, cortisol management. So um, if you've got high stress, you've probably heard of the hormone cortisol. And we can get spikes of cortisol, which we're really stressed and um, makes us a bit neurotic, speaking for myself. Um, this helps keep it under control. You take two in the morning and one at night. And I actually don't know why, but I think this helps me sleep too. Uh, what's next? Oh, tea green. I won't stay on this um, for very long, but this is for bloating and um, stress. Helps support the antitop antioxidant defense system in the presence of a hectic, busy or stressful life. Dietary defense for health protection and is the equivalent of seven cups of green tea without the caffeine. I think this is excellent for my IBS and along with the um, firming cream, which I've got here, um, my tummy is a lot flatter. Uh, eye formula. I don't know if I got this free because I don't woo, I don't remember buying this at all it was okay complimentary brand of nutrients to protect your eye health today and for years to come it's all right I'm not gonna buy it again it's fine uh, what else, what else, what else? a hairspray just a cheapy one I used up, oh, my baby little first quick fix. I really scraped it out of there. This came in with the Nutrisense Teal's um, little travel pack. This was beautiful. I love that. It come, came in really handy. That was fantastic. I used up dry shampoo. And is this the last one? Gosh, I thought I had more than that. It was overflowing. Huh, maybe I didn't. I used up a firm treatment head. So these treatment heads are supposed to uh, last only three months. And this is what they look like when they're used. That's exactly three months worth. I'm sad to see these go. <laughs> Is it weird that you get attached to inanimate objects? The firm head, I like to always have one in my collection because um, I use it as like a exfoliator, maybe twice a week, um, instead of I usually use the normal combo head. And that, my friends, is it. I think that's everything. Yeah. I'm trying to keep all my empties, but you can't help it, right? You accidentally put things in the in the bin all the time. <laughs> I binned a load of foundations that were out of date. Um, and I'm going to stick with the few that I've got. So the Ilya is new. Uh, Rimmel Kind and Free. My absolute favourite. Il Maquillage. Woke up like this. And 
my hourglass stick concealer so I've got a formula for all occasions Does that makes sense today I've mixed these two together to create this finish because I feel like this is too sheer on its own this is too full together it makes quite a nice little um, combination um i think that's it guys i don't think i've got anything else for you hope you have oh i'm getting very low on my sunscreen that'll be in next month's empties i think so yeah i think that's it let me know if you enjoy these empty videos uh let me know what you've been enjoying this week what's been your favorite purchase and what's something you regret buying pop your uh answers down below and I'll catch you next time. Take care.